Our next example of how to find the area need to curve is a sine function, a trigonometric function. The limits are from x equals 0 to x equals pi. So let's grab the function first. Okay, here's our y-axis, here's our x-axis. It's the sine function, which means when x equals 0, it is 0. So the function looks like this. And then over here, it goes like this. And uh, this is x equals 0, this is x equals 2 pi, this is x equals pi. And the limits are from 0 to pi, so that means we're trying to find the area underneath the curve, like right here. That's the area we're trying to find. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we say that the area is equal to the definite integral from x equals 0 to x equals pi of the sine of x dx. So what is the integral of the sine of x? Well, the integral of the sine is the negative cosine because the derivative of the sine is the positive cosine, so that works. So this is equal to minus the cosine of x evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals pi. Okay, when we do that, we plug in the upper limit, so we have minus the cosine of pi minus minus the cosine of 0. So plug in the upper limit, subtract when you plug in the lower limit. All right, so this is equal to minus the cosine of pi, and minus times the minus is plus the cosine of zero. All right, what is the cosine of pi? Well, the cosine of pi, pi is 180 degrees, that would be minus one, and a minus times the minus one is a plus one, so that's plus, uh, plus one, plus, and the cosine of zero is one, that's one, so therefore the sum is two, which means the area underneath that curve is equal to two. All right, that wasn't so bad.